Welcome to this video. I already created a couple of videos on Webpack and how you may set it up, how it works. I also do plan to create further videos on it and for example to also show how you may set up Webpack with Vue.js or React, though I already have a video on the latter one on this channel. But in this video I want to start with the basics of using third-party packages because that of course is a common use case. You don't only have your code, you also use a third-party package. And it's important to understand how you may import such a package with Webpack or with Webpack 2 to be precise. So I will start with that project we already created in Webpack in one of my last videos. And if you haven't watched these, you can just find the link in the video description. Now with this project, I want to add jQuery. Now I already do use npm to manage my project and in the package.json file thus far we only have a couple of development dependencies. Now I want to install a production dependency, jQuery. So I can use npm and run npm install dash dash save to mark it as a normal dependency, not a development dependency. And of course it's jQuery which I want to install. So by hitting enter it will be downloaded and put into my node modules folder. And as you can see, it also added this dependency to the package.json file. That's the first step, but not the only step. Now, how can we use jQuery? Now we can go to the app.js file and we could start using jQuery by adding the dollar selector here and then using jQuery like output paragraph now is controlled via jQuery. It's a jQuery object. So we should be able to use the text function here and of course also down here, text like that. And this should just work, shouldn't it? Now we could also expect that we can use jQuery like this, like right with instead of the dollar sign, jQuery to get this random int button. And then instead of using add event listener click, we could just listen or just add the click method and then execute that whenever a click happens. If we restart npm run build, so our development server now, we will see that it doesn't work like that. So now it compiles and on the first look it looks like everything works, but on our page we see that we get an error. The dollar sign is not defined. Now what's wrong? We installed jQuery and we know that jQuery exposes this dollar sign function. So why is it not found? Because we never include jQuery. We install it, yes, but we install a lot of things. We do have a lot of files in our project. Just because we have a file in the node modules folder doesn't mean that we use it here. So what we could do is we could go to the top of our app.js file and we could simply import jQuery like that maybe. So basically use the package name we have here to pull in the full package. And as a side note, this syntax is correct. Since it's a package managed via npm, we don't need to add the relative path to the JavaScript file here. We can just specify the package name as a path and npm or webpack in the end will figure out where that sits. So if we now, well, restart the server or just save would have been enough. We will see that as soon as this has restarted here and we go back to our web page, we still get the same error. However, what you also see is, if you have a look at the network tab, our bundle increased in size. You might have not noticed this before, but it was smaller. And you can see this in the sources tab. If you have a look at the bundle here, bundle.js, and actually if you in there search for jQuery, you find a lot of jQuery references in there. So besides our own code, this here looks pretty much like we did include it. So it should be available and yet we can't use it. The reason for this is that once it gets added to the overall bundle, Webpack doesn't create the connection between the jQuery code which was added to the bundle and our code where we use it. So this is why we are not able to use it, however we are very close to making this work. We only need to adjust our Webpack config file. Here in the plugins area. I now need to use a special plugin Webpack ships with. Since Webpack ships with that, I'll add Webpack here as I import in my config file now. So require Webpack here. And down in the plugins, I now want to add a new plugin. Position doesn't really matter, but I'll add it as a first plugin here. And I will use Webpack and there 
not a function. There, the provide plugin, like this. Now, the provide plugin takes a JavaScript object as an argument. And here we can basically map variables or functions or objects we use in our code to packages which provide the actual function, the actual code we want to use. So here we can basically say map dollar sign to jQuery like this. And also map jQuery to jQuery so that we can use both ways. If we now reload or restart this process with the change configuration file, we should see that if we reload this one more time here, the error is gone and it works as before. But keep in mind, we're using jQuery code here. And the reason why it works as before is because we added this plugin in our config file. And this plugin basically tells Webpack, whenever you encounter the dollar sign or the jQuery function, the plugin we specify here, or the package I should say, the package we specify here is providing the actual code. And indeed, the jQuery package provides the jQuery function, which is also aliased with the dollar sign here. So that is where we built this connection and why this will now work. And this is how you can add a plugin or excuse me, a package like jQuery to your existing Webpack workflow. I hope this was helpful. See you in the other videos. Bye.